An argument and a prophecy. Chapter 22 of Luke's Gospel. Luke again, verse 24. 22, 24. An argument and a prophecy. Just when, before Jesus went to the cross and he was arrested, he was betrayed by one of his disciples. And they argued about it. Who would be the greatest? Summer 2020 on a rainy day in Switzerland. This is Stefan Heger reading with you Bible. I love Bible because it's the word of God. Let's see what Jesus did in verse 24. They started to argue. Do you argue sometimes with God? What is going on in my life? And you don't understand him. And you think he doesn't understand you. Let's see what happened here 2,000 years ago at the Last Supper. They argue about who is the most important. Jesus explained them it doesn't matter in his kingdom. And then he tells Peter he will say that he doesn't know him. First they argue he's the greatest. And then right after the leading disciple tells that he doesn't know Jesus because he's scared of people. Let's see. They disagreed about which of them was thought to be the most important person. Jesus said to them, The kings of the nations hold power over their people, and those who order them around call themselves protectors. Look, some people have let you down, whom you thought they would be your protectors. But humans are just humans, and they are sinners like anyone else. But Jesus is clean and pure, and he loves you. Verse 26 of chapter 22. But you must not be like that. So Jesus tells his disciples, you should be different. You've learned from me. You should be different than other leaders and other protectors or politicians or people who just say something, pretenders or hypocrites. Instead, verse 26, the most important among you should be like the youngest. The one who rules should be like the one who serves. Look at this now. Who is the more important? It is the one at the table or the one who serves. Isn't the one who is at the table. But I am among you as one who serves. Jesus says, I am just like your servant. Okay. Jesus says, I'm just like your servant. Even though I'm the son of God, the son of man. I'm just the servant for you. Look. Verse 28. You have stood by me during my troubles. And I give you a kingdom. Just as my father gave me a kingdom. Then you will eat and drink at my table in the kingdom. And you will sit on thrones. Judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Simon, Simon, that means Peter. Satan has asked to shift you disciples like wheat. To sift, sorry, to sift you disciples like wheat. To sift really means to shake them up and see who gets through the test. To sift, judging the 12 tribes in the future. But now look at this. But I have prayed for you, Simon. I have prayed that your faith will not fail. Simon is the other name of Peter. He's the leading disciple. So Jesus prayed for Peter, who then denies him, that his faith would not fail. Look, Jesus also wants to pray for you, and he's interceding for you before the Father. Come to Jesus. He is the way, to the truth, and the life to the Father. The Lord Jesus Christ, when you have turned back, help your brothers to be strong. But Simon replied, Lord, I am ready to go with you to prison and to death. And to death. Look, that's what he says. It's in the Bible. Verse 33, verse 34. Jesus answered, I tell you, Peter, you will say three times that you don't know me. And you will do it before the rooster crows today. Then Jesus asked the disciples, Did you need anything when I sent you nothing? They never had any lack. They were with Jesus. Jesus provides for you and for me. 
He said to them, but now if you have a purse, take it. And also take a bag. If you don't have a sword, sell your coat and buy one. It is written. It was, it was counted among those who had committed crimes. I tell you that the disciples said, see, Lord, here are two swords. You think Jesus wanted them to fight with two swords? The Roman army? I don't think so. He prophesied and fulfilled the prophecy of the Old Testament that he will be counted among criminals. Jesus will be arrested, the Son of God, just like a criminal, the great prophet. He will be treated worse. Betrayed, arrested, whipped, beaten up, humiliated and crucified that sentence for you and for me. He bled, shed his blood. But here he prophesied about it. The disciples said, Lord, see, here are two swords. We have two swords. That is enough, Jesus said. That was enough for the moment.